and welcome to today's video. We are going to do another edition of testing Amazon makeup. Except we're not gonna be testing makeup this time. We are going to be testing a flat iron. I am really excited. I've been doing some more hair videos lately and I'll go ahead and link that playlist right here if you wanna check out any of those videos if you have not seen them yet. I do want to add in a little disclaimer right out of the gate. This flat iron was sent to me to test out. I have zero commitment to say anything positive about it. Every thought and opinion that I give to you is going to be honest and how I truly feel. I will never compromise that. So please do know that. I do hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, I hope you'll give me a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing before you go. All right, well, if you wanna see what my thoughts and opinions are on the flat iron, then please keep watching. my hair just to give you a heads up in case you haven't seen my videos before it's pretty wavy slash curly slash frizzy dry and so i have been laying off of flat irons for i would say like six months i mean it's been a while i found that when i flat iron my hair it tends to look really almost frizzy and drier, especially at the ends. You can see a difference between the way that my hair looks now versus even my last video. I used my Revlon One Step like brush hair dryer. A review on that brush slash blow dryer is in that hair playlist that I previously linked up there. When I use that brush, it's not that my hair looks thin, it's just much straighter using this flat iron. I'm gonna back out so you can see all of my hair. My hair's gotten really long. Give me a second. Okay, so I just backed the camera out a little bit further so you could see just how healthy the hair looks even at the ends. It doesn't look fried, which is amazing. Let's talk about this flat iron now that you know what my thoughts are on it. There is ionic technology here. Also, it has a 30 second fast heat up, which I will demo for you in a moment. It has an auto shut off, which is nice because a lot of times I will forget to turn off my flat iron and yeah, we don't need a fire hazard here. There's nano diamond ceramic plates. That just sounds great. A floating plate system. Again, don't know what that is. Smart flash heat recovery, professional high heat max 446 and there's a nine feet durable swivel cord which means like i don't know if you've ever kind of been flat ironing your hair and the cord just kind of gets caught so that's nice that it will swivel and go with you one thing that you do have to be careful of because the flat iron will get so hot you do control the temperature but if you have dry or damaged hair you don't want to go as high as 446 degrees. I'll put up here again, it has some recommendations depending on your hair type. If you have damaged hair, then you're gonna to wanna to keep the temperature between 284 and 320 degrees. If you have fragile hair, it's easily going to break. Then you're gonna to wanna to keep the temperature between 320 degrees and 392 degrees Fahrenheit. And then finally, if you have normal, healthy hair, you can go all the way up to 392 degrees and 446 degrees Fahrenheit. I personally, even if I had normal healthy hair, I don't know that I'd want to go that high. I think that just screams damage, but whatever. Another thing I noticed that I really enjoyed about the flat iron is that the plates, like it grips my hair really nicely. It doesn't, I mean, I was reading the reviews on here because this was given to me. I didn't shop for it. People were saying it was pulling their hair out. I did not notice that at all. It grips it nicely, but then glides right down. So when it's not pulling your hair, that's the floating panels mentioned on the packaging. The plates are one inch. For people that have bangs, it's small enough that you can actually style your bangs with it. So that's great too. I used to have bangs, so 
I get the struggle. And another major plus with this flat iron is the price point. It is $38.99. I was shocked. Again, I just got an email basically saying, hey, do you wanna do a review, test out a product? They did not say that I had to say anything. There was no like, you must say X, Y, and Z about it. It was just like, if we send you this, will you do a review? And that's what I'm doing. I had no idea how much it cost. So when I went and I checked, I was like, whoa. I 100% will recommend this flat iron. I tested it in many different ways. The first way that I used it was after I had blown my hair out with a blow dryer, I ran through it just to kind of smooth it out. I did it the same way after I did my brush, the two-in-one brush, just kind of afterwards to touch it up. And then today, this is just full on flat ironed. I wanted to see how well my hair would hold up. And I live in Florida, if you guys don't know, and it is super humid here. And my hair has looked it's really held up nicely. It's the frizz has been maintained. The straightness has been maintained. I have to say it holds up just as well as my chi, my flat iron that I typically would use. Now, the downside to this flat iron is it doesn't have a kickstand. So once it's on and it's hot, it will roll over and you have to be careful because you don't want it to burn any surface that you're going to put it down. That's my only negative. Really quick, I want to show you how fast this works. There's a nice little button here, which again, this is a great plus. I have had flat irons in the past that the switch is like up at the top and then you are flat ironing your hair and you accidentally turn it off. That's so frustrating. This is nice and kind of hidden from your fingers when you're flat ironing your hair you won't turn it off this is the display panel so if i turn it on we'll pump it up to 356 i hope you can see this but right here the numbers that display the temperature will flash until it gets to the desired temperature it's already there you guys it's already at 356 degrees literally 30 seconds. So like if you want to curl the ends under, like that's how I did it. You can, you can keep it straight. You can also kind of do this and it will curl your hair as well. Prior to receiving the email and this product, I'd never heard of Wazer. I hadn't ever come across it before. So this is an exciting find. They do have blow dryers and a ton of other hair tools. So I'm really excited. Maybe I'll have to try out some more now. All right, you guys, so that wraps up my review of the Wazer flat iron. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll give me a big thumbs up and if you are not subscribed I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go all right guys thanks I'll see you in the next video bye I didn't wear a bra I didn't think I was gonna back up this much hopefully they don't look saggy nobody will notice